Hello all you English learners out there. Welcome to the sixth lesson in this course. My name is Oliver and I'm the instructor of this course where I'm going to be teaching you the fundamentals of the English language and basic grammar. So in today's lesson we are going to be learning how to use pronouns to refer to possession and to belonging. Now there are two types of these pronouns. The first type is called possessive determiners and the second type is called possessive pronouns. All right, we use possessive determiners before a noun, whereas we use the possessive pronouns in place of a noun. So let's go ahead and we'll jump right in, okay? Uh, first, let's take a look at the possessive determiners. I'll write them here on the board. Now, the possessive determiners are, first we have my, okay? So my, then we have your, and then we have his, her, our, and their, okay? So his, her, this looks, uh, I'll make this a bigger H. So my, your, his, her, our, and their. These are possessive determiners. Now. You can see that my corresponds to, here I'll put it in blue. So my corresponds to I, your co corresponds to you, his corresponds to he, her corresponds to her, our corresponds to we, and their corresponds to they, okay? my, your, his, her, our, and their. All right, now as I've said before in lesson number two, in the English language, we do not use gender in the same way that other languages do, such as in French or in Italian or in Spanish or in Romanian. In fact, it's much easier to do this in English since these pronouns do not change according to the number of people or to gender. It always stays the same. It's always my, your, his, her, our, and their. They don't change, so it's very easy. Let's go ahead and look at some examples. We have my name is, meaning my name is, and then here in the blank spot you just put your name. So for example, my name is Oliver. So, O-L-I-V-E-R. My name is Oliver, okay? And then our next one is, my favorite color is, okay? And then you can just say your color. For example, my favorite color is blue. My favorite color is green. My favorite color is orange. My favorite color is red. My favorite color is uh, yellow. My favorite color is purple. My favorite color is black. My favorite color is white. Whatever color you like, you just put your color here, okay? We'll say my favorite color is blue because blue is my favorite color. I love the color blue, okay? And then, we're going to move on to the next one with your. It says your name is, and then a blank space. So your name is, and you put the person's name. Your name is Sally. Your name is Bob. Your name is Emily. Okay, you can put whatever name you want. Your name is Derek. Okay, Derek, etc. Whatever the name is, you put the name. Your, meaning you, your name is da 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 da. Okay? Or you can even ask the question, what is your name? If you want to know somebody's name, you could say, hi, my name is Oliver. Um, my favorite color is blue. Uh, what is your name? Okay, what is your name? And then they say, my name is Sally. I can say, oh, your name is Sally. Okay, you know, nice to meet you, Sally. All right, so very, very easy. Or I can say, what is your favorite? And then blank spot. So what is your favorite? Here we have color, right? So I could say, what is your favorite color? C-O-L-O-R. What is your favorite color? Or you could say, what is your favorite food? Okay, what is your favorite number? 
Okay, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is your favorite number? Everybody has a favorite number, I think. So you can ask, what is your favorite something? And it's pretty easy. Let's go ahead and we'll move on to his. Okay, it says his job is far. So we have close and then we have far. So the opposite of far is close. So if it's not far, it's close. C-L-O-S-E, close. So you can say his job is far. For example, what is a job? A job is where you work. A job is where you earn money. Okay, that is a job. You can have a job as a teacher. You can have a job as a scientist. You can have a job as a farmer. You can have a job as a doctor. You can have a job as a mechanic. Whatever your job is, um, you do a job and you can work either far or you can work close. Okay, so that's with his. If you don't know somebody's job or what his job is, you can ask, what is his job? Okay, what is his job? Like, what is his job over there? Ah, he is a teacher. What is his job over there? Ah, he is a mechanic, okay, etc. Or you could say like, what is your job? If you wanna ask a person that, okay, you can ask, what is your job? Y-O-U-R. What is your job? And you can say, my job is a uh, teacher. My job is I work at McDonald's or whatever it might be. My job is a waitress. My job is a waiter. My job is an actor. My job is a practitioner. Okay, if you're if you work at a clinic. So let's go ahead and continue with her. Okay, so now we have her. It says her passion is art. Passion is what you love to do, what you really aspire to do in your life. So we'll put a little heart around passion. So her passion is art. She likes drawing pictures. She likes painting things, okay? She loves creating things. Her passion is art. Her car is red, how she drives. The vehicle she drives is red in color, okay? Now let's move on to R. Okay, our friends are smart. Okay, smart means you have uh, intelligence, right? You can do things, uh, for example, a doctor is smart, an astronaut is smart, okay? You can say the opposite of smart, which is uh, stupid. I'm not sure why you would say that, but it's a good idea to know this word as well. Smart and stupid, okay? Smart is you have a really good brain, and stupid is maybe you don't have such a good brain, okay? So our friends are smart, our friends are stupid. And um, then we have R, okay? Here it says, are our families healthy? Healthy means you eat uh, like vegetables, you eat your fruit, you exercise, you run, you are not sick, okay? If you are unhealthy, Okay, the opposite of healthy is unhealthy, and this is not good. Okay, this means you are sick. Uh, maybe you have a, you know, a terrible disease. Maybe you have maybe a cancer or something. We would say unhealthy in that case. Okay, I want you to notice that we have uh, this sentence here. It says, "Are our families healthy?" This is pronounced the same. We have the word R and R. Even though they are spelled differently, right? This one is spelled A-R-E, and this one is spelled O-U-R. Americans pronounce them the same for the most part. This is R, R, families, healthy. Okay, we have a question mark. So it says, are our families healthy? Like healthy? Okay, it's a question. Are our families healthy? Are. Are their friends crazy? Okay, crazy, meaning wild or uh, somehow belligerent in some ways. They do acts that are out of the ordinary. They are not normal. They do things that other people wouldn't even dare to do. So, are their friends crazy? 
Okay, are their friends crazy? And then we have there again. Their, uh, are their friends crazy? Their feelings are hurt. Okay, their feelings are hurt. Feelings is how you feel, okay? You have good feelings, you have bad feelings, you have happy feelings, you have sad feelings, okay? These are sort of the sentiments that you feel inside your body, inside your heart, how you feel. Hurt, okay? Hurt means you can hurt your arm, right? You hit your arm and it's like, ah, you hurt your arm, okay? Or you can hurt your head, right? Hurt. You can also have hurt feelings, okay? Hurt feelings, like inside you, you don't feel good. You're sad, somebody said something not nice to you, and your feelings are hurt, okay? Hurt feelings. Okay, so these are possessive determiners, okay? My, your, his, her, our, their. And now we are going to look at possessive pronouns. Don't forget that we use possessive pronouns in place of a noun. So you can see here that we have nouns, <coughs> excuse me, we have nouns here like name is a noun, color is a noun, my name, Oliver is a noun, okay, a job is a noun. We don't have nouns in this case. The possessive pronouns takes the place of a noun. So, the possessive pronouns are, we'll put them next to each other, next to each other. The first one is mine, M-I-N-E, mine. The next one is yours, okay, Y-O-U-R-S, yours. The next one is his, H-I-S. The next one is hers, H-E-R-S. The next one is Ours, O U R S. And finally, we have theirs, T H E I R S. Theirs. Okay? So let's look at some examples right here. It says, This is my pencil. Okay? So, my in this case is a possessive determiner, my. This is my pencil. And when we want to use a possessive pronoun, we're going to say, this is, and instead of using the possessive determiner, we're going to use the possessive pronoun, which replaces the noun. We're going to say, this is mine. So, uh, this is my pencil. This is mine. Okay. For example, this is a red marker. Okay. We'll say marker. This is my marker. Marker is spelled M. A R K E R. This is my marker. This is mine, right? This is mine. That is your eraser. Okay, so this is an eraser. That is your eraser. Okay, we'll say that is yours with an S. That is yours with an S. These are her clothes, okay? Clothes are what you wear. For example, you have shirts, okay? Those are clothes. You have pants, okay? Those are clothes. You have hats. <clears throat> and those are also clothes. You have socks, okay? Those are clothes. So th these are her clothes. These right here. These are her clothes. We'll say these are hers with an s these are hers next we have those are his shoes those are his shoes shoes is what you wear on your feet so these are socks and these are shoes okay shoes have the shoe laces these are shoes okay shoes and socks <clears throat> these are sorry those are his shoes. We'll say, those are his, period. Finally, we have, <clears throat> this is our car. And a car is a vehicle like what you drive, okay? So, this is our car. We'll say, this is ours with an S. This is ours, like right here. This is ours, okay? 
All right, guys, now we're going to look at the verb to want, okay? To want means you desire something. You want to have something. For example, I want my phone. We can say, I'll have to put this in another color or I'm gonna have to erase this, guys. I'll erase the socks and I'll erase the shoes. The sock and the shoe, how about that? Okay, I want, from the verb to want, I want my phone. You can say, I want mine. I want mine. You want your laptop? You want, what were you gonna say? Yours. You want yours. He wants his book, okay? And you know, you, you read a book, right? You read a book. He wants his. He wants his. Next we have, she doesn't want her glasses. Glasses are these. <clears throat> these are glasses, what you wear on your eyes, so you can see. So, she doesn't want her glasses. She doesn't want, whoops, here, there we go, hers, H-E-R-S, with an S right here. She doesn't want hers. <clears throat> we don't want our umbrellas, and you know what an umbrella is, right? An umbrella looks like this, and you use an umbrella for the rain. When it's raining outside, this is an umbrella. We don't want our umbrellas. We don't want, then we'll say we don't want ours, okay? We don't want ours, which is from R, but with an S. Okay, possessive, okay, belonging, okay? The umbrellas belong to us. They are ours. Finally, we have they don't want their ice cream. And you know what ice cream is, right? Ice cream looks like this, and it's very cold, and you can lick it, and you can eat it. Okay, ice cream, there's vanilla ice cream, there's chocolate ice cream, there's strawberry ice cream. They don't want their ice cream. We can say they don't want theirs, T-H-E-I-R-S. They don't want their ice cream. They don't want theirs. Okay, guys? All right, so as you can see, I just wanna point out that there is a change in the verb to want, and you can see it's right here. The change is found in the third person singular, he, she, it wants, okay? with an S, okay? He, she, it wants. She doesn't want, since we have a negative right here, it says she doesn't want, there is no S here, okay? So when you have something negative, we do not put the S in English. She doesn't want, okay? She wants her glasses. She doesn't want her glasses, okay? If this says he, doesn't, then we'd also get rid of the S. He doesn't want his book, okay? So we have an S in the third person singular when it is in its positive form, all right? So, all right guys, that's it for this lesson today. If you guys like this lesson or these lessons in the whole series, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this series. And uh, that's it for this lesson on possessive determiners and possessive pronouns. I hope to see you guys in the next lesson. Thank you so much for watching and for sure, I will see you next time. Bye.